I remember being really young, well, I don't know if really young, but maybe nine or ten, and going and watching a national team game. And I know at that point it was something that had not crossed my mind. I was there as a fan. My mum and dad enjoyed sports, so I would go to the local team's games and just because I enjoyed it and I enjoyed playing. And then it wasn't really until I was 15, 16 where I started to get involved a little more seriously and started to get sort of school level trials and, and that kind of led to some youth national team experience. And at that point it started to kind of change for me and that was when I, I had that ambition of maybe it was something that I could strive for. And I was 19 when I made my first national team appearance for the full squad. Actually, going back to when I was younger again, there's probably a yearbook when I was 10 or something where I say I'd like to be an accountant and I know that that stems from my grandpa who was an accountant as well and it was something that maths was just a subject that I enjoyed at school and so it made sense when I had a good opportunity to work with Ernst & Young and so were willing to give me a lot of flexibility to keep up with the football on, on top of that which was a huge commitment and and without their support, it wouldn't have been possible to combine both. But I'm definitely grateful that I have, I have got that behind me. It is something I want to go back to and I see myself doing. Everyone is so excited for next month. For me especially, and I know that I speak for a lot of the group because we've had a consistent pool of players now over the last probably six, seven years. And so a lot of us have experienced the bad times whereby we've got close and just not quite made it. So I think from that point of view, qualifying this year was, a, was special for everyone because they've been on the other end of it so many times and we've got so close and now we've finally got there. And to play against any of the top teams is going to be special and on that stage with a big crowd and at a major tournament, the atmosphere will be great. And it's, it's one of those moments where probably the day will pass us by, but it's going to be a case of taking every second in and, and putting on a performance. Because I know that for a lot, a lot of the, the girls, we believe in one another and we know that how good we can be when we perform and when we all work together. We're so looking forward to just enjoying every single day of July and what that involves and it's exciting. When Laura gave me the opportunity to come here it was something that I better hand off to, to come and do. I remember the conversation on the phone and she said to me I'll give you some time to think about it. And I turned around and said, I don't need any more time. I want to come. And I think she choked on her soup or whatever she was having for lunch. There obviously is and was some of the best players in the world. And I felt comfortable, you know, I obviously, I'd never, I didn't know Laura, but from talking to her on the phone, I just, she was welcoming. And I felt there was a lot of things about the city and about the club that I knew that I would have a platform to grow and improve and challenge myself. And that was one of the biggest things that was exciting was to play with girls here and to know that I could develop my own career and, become a better player. I love being here, I love the club, I feel at home here now and that's a credit to the owners and how the clubs run and also the players and the group that we have in the locker room that, that come together and make this a place to stay.